Hi, this is Anthony from OQPlay.com and today we're checking out the Kiwi Design Q1 Pro 2 silicone grip covers for the Oculus Quest 2. These are silicone touch controller grip covers and also knuckle strap integrated into the actual controller grip itself. Uh, it's very thin, environmentally friendly plastic silicone and it attaches very well around your controller and um, you have exit port for your cable there and uh, it feels really nice to touch and also to use actually as the controller itself. So let's just tell you how to install it and then we'll come back with our impressions. Right, so here we have everything that you get in the Q1 Pro 2 from Kiwi Design for the Oculus Quest 2. You get obviously the box itself, a very small manual, but you really shouldn't really need to look at this because it's really straightforward how to actually even install these grips. And obviously you get the grips themselves as well, uh, the right one and the left one. So we have our left controller here and uh, the actual left grip. I've noticed on this one, it actually hasn't had the actual hole cut out. So if you do want to use uh, this, um, you'd have to get a little Stanley knife or something to cut that bit out. It doesn't push out, unfortunately. The right one has it out already, so you can see the difference there. But the left one is really straightforward. Uh, you just literally insert it in like this through the sort of opening gap there. And it's best just to slide it in so you can actually see the grip button and then bring this over the top like that. And then this bit, just basically goes around the face button area like that and then these push onto these two little lugs here not nobular bits here and this is a lot softer compared to their previous strap and that's really a good advantage because that makes it mold over this controller a lot better than other uh, straps that they've done uh, this is quite loose uh, you can see I would have liked that if that was a bit more tighter. Personally, I would have liked that if the whole thing was actually cut out rather than just this bit, but this just reinforces the whole grip, really. And then you've got the this part here, uh, which is a bit, I don't know what the longevity of this is gonna be like. You really shouldn't be tugging at this anyway, really. This is a lot firmer, uh, but I don't know what the longevity of that's gonna be like. And that's it. That's pretty much it, that's the controller. Uh, you can change the Velcro as tight as you want on this buckle here. You can have it super tight if you wanted to. It does flap off a bit, you can't really tuck it anywhere, unfortunately, but I like to have it fairly loose, but pretty much medium, as it came really. I quite like it like that. Nice cutout for the grip button. This is not uh, thick, which is great. Uh, it's just a very thin covering. No sensors being blocked here as far as I can tell. And um, there isn't much of a lip. There's a bit of a lip to get to the Oculus home button there to press it. Um, you've got full control with the stick. That's not impeding it in that way. And neither are the buttons here either. So you do feel a bit of a ridge here if you're used to putting your thumb down. But other than that, these are pretty good. So let's quickly do the right one. So again, opening gap, bring it in, bring that over the top. Get the grip button in place and then bring that over the top and then fasten these down. That's it, that's the right one. Again, very sort of loose there but not super loose, but it's it could have been better. These fit on perfectly fine. And um, you've got your wrist strap guide there if you need it. And this is all pretty well cut out, I reckon. So this sits almost on the top part of your hand rather than over your knuckles. And because of that, it gives you a good amount of space around the actual controller itself. Sometimes there's like a bar here uh, from other wrist straps and that just impedes your hand, I feel. And having the actual strap come from this point, uh, which we've seen on the pro strap and um, 
it just doesn't impede your movement here for me and I think that's great. So these are probably one of the better grips I've actually experienced. For now, these are pretty good grips for your Quest 2. Right, so we've had a look at the controllers. There they are attached to both touch controllers for the Quest 2. I think they are really nice. They're probably one of the best grips covers that I've experienced so far. As I've said, there's not much intrusion with the sensor ring. It's not built in to an actual protector itself, but it is a very nice material. It's really nice and tactile. It'd be great for workouts because it's got a slight rough material to it. So that's going to help get some air to your hands if you're getting sweaty. The band is really nice. It's got lots of adjustment. It has a round clip buckle here and that allows it to rotate. So that just makes it super comfy and it fits perfectly in your hand as well. It's not going to get loose because it's, it's literally around your whole entire palm and uh, the little plastic attachment that's attaching it is pretty good. I don't know how well it'll do over time and whether that will start to perish, but right now it's very solid. Uh, you'd have to really tug at it to really rip this thing off. And the fact that you're holding onto the controller itself anyway, I don't think it's actually gonna break off or anything. If anything, the buckle will. The attachment at the top is very stable. It's definitely firmly in position there around the grommets when you attach it. So that's not going to come off anytime soon. The other thing I don't like is that this is a bit loose. Um, and I would also like to see one that just takes this design and integrates it all the way around the actual ring. Uh, with this buckle system, I think this is really nice because if this is any higher, it tends to restrict your thumb movement uh, in, in the actual area itself. So. I think it's hard to show you, but this grip part here doesn't limit uh, your thumb movement, which many grip covers do. And I think that's purely down to having the system off the actual sensor ring itself. So overall, this works really, really well. It's super comfy. Uh, it's leather PU material on the back, so you can easily wipe it down on any sweaty sessions that you're having on your Quest 2. And um, just the, the feel of it is just really, really nice. And it's not thick either, it's not thick plastic. So uh, it doesn't really feel that, it's bulking the weight of the actual controller itself. It's nice to have the ability to have the exit port for the wire, if you use any wrist straps. But if you don't, this is good enough. They're really not gonna come flying off, as long as you have it quite a tightly attached around the back of your hand here. The Q1 Pro 2 grip covers retail for around £26 or around $28 in the US. I think they're very good. They're definitely well recommended if you're looking for an all-in-one protector for your grip and also an integrated knuckle strap as well. All right, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and consider subscribing. It really helps us out. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.